<laughs> All right, guys, welcome, <laughs> welcome back, welcome back. This is gonna be uh, the uh, what is this? This is actually episode two of the Glitch episode Pit Anime the Edition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Anime Pit. Well, yeah, the Anime know. Pit, exactly. There you go. Um, Let's go with that. Hey, we're basically covering episode four of Megalo Box. Megalo Box. Megalo Box. Fuck. I fucked it up. Right, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's good. It's good. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, right off the bat, right, right off, right off the uh, shit. Can't even say that, right? <laughs> Jesus. Well, what do you guys? What do you guys rate this episode? I think this was a very good episode. It took a turn. It took a big turn when it came to character development, in my opinion. I think yeah. every episode's a big ass turn to be honest. Like that shit is Word. gargantuan. I mean for me within the first whew, sixty seconds of the episode, I was excited. The yeah, moment really. they the, the moment dropped. they the moment they introduced his official fight name as Gearless Joe, I got excited. Exactly. You know, I, I'm gonna lie to you. I feel that Put it away. I feel that with with Gearless Joe, <laughs> the way the fight was going about against, uh, I forgot his name, but Shark. I'm just gonna call him Shark for now. Um, yeah, Shark dude. Yeah, the pretty pretty much Shark dude. Um, it, it showed just like he had a lot of skill just in boxing. Like it 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 showed his vulnerability. It showed it, everything that we saw in the first three episodes, like his cockiness and shit like that, got immediately shut not shut down, but it kind of woke his ass up because him fighting nah, without I gear. Say, I would say he definitely shut down a bit. Yeah, I would, I would say that their first their first wording was correct. He he definitely shut down. Like he yeah, shut down. He's his, getting... his his body immediately said, um, "Are you crazy?" Yeah, his body was just like, "Nope," and he he was like, "Nah, we gotta do this." And his body was like, "Um, sit the fuck down." All right, I'm not exactly. Winning. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Exactly. Um, I mean, like, and he 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 it showed fear. He showed fear, something that he hasn't showed in. And the show so far, like it's three episodes yeah, in, he was just cocky. He was like, "I'm gonna beat everybody, fuck y'all." And then in this episode, you know, he was introduced as Gearless Joe. He went into the ring, and I guess it was kind of foreign for him to fight in the ring without any gear. So they kind of woke, you know, his body was like, you know, he he wasn't used to it at first, you know. Exact point where the fear kicked in. Um, oh, it was when, when he got sharks when they were in the corners, and you see Shark over there, and his yeah, his gear started really winding up. That, yeah, that's when it set in. That's, that's when the fear set, set in. And and that was even that was before the fight even started. Yeah, that's before it even started. And then it slowly started progressing over the rounds until it got to as the, each the as each punch. And when he took the first punch, and it knocked him down, that's his body that's when his body was mm -hmm. his body was pretty much saying, "Don't get up." Nope. Nope. But, because you're going to die. Exactly. But, but um, up, which, I, which I'm happy for. So, so he could, he, I mean, exactly. he, he, he still got up. He had no like choice. <laughs> exactly. He had no choice. Um, what's his name? I forgot what? the kid's name already. Um, Socio. Yes, yeah, Socio. He pretty much was just like, yo, it, it pops. Stop, stop talking shit. Shut the fuck up. He no, we gotta to talk about up. this little man real quick, man. He, he is really the star player right now. Ever since episode three, he's been the star player. Think he about really it. is. He, he, he's sitting there like, yo, listen. You're not noticing what you should be noticing, old man. All right, sit your head down. Look at this guy in the face. Look at him. He's all crazy. Like yo, he start crying and shit. And that's when people start listening. When you start bawling your eyes out, that's when people start sitting there and listening to you. Even though he said he wasn't crying. Yeah, I mean, he, he ain't no punk. He ain't no punk. Like, I'm, not, right? I'm not crying. So but I have crying. a real feeling that this kid is gonna end up like if if you're talking about like future episodes or something like that, like future series. This kid is going to be a real good trainer. Like He already has the tech skills down. He's basically a genius when it comes to that. And then he can visually see people's like physical emotions and shit like that. Like That shit is crazy. Almost oh, definitely. Just looking at him, he was like, yo, something's I think wrong. In one of these, I think in one of these episodes, they have to do like a, like a backstory on him and that picture. So we can get an idea of where all this is coming from. We yeah, let's not forget about that picture. All these damn characters, to be honest. I mean, let's let's start well, about. Literally, him, don't know him, anything about him, Joe. Him. We don't know anything about Sojo. We don't and know we anything about Nambu. Know about Pops. Yeah, Pops, aka, AKA Nambu. I mean, clearly well, we kind of got was... a, we kind of got a glimpse towards the end of the episode that. You know, I mean, we've been getting hints really and hints trainer. about what he really is for episodes like since the first episode. To be honest, that is true. Like, um, little hints and here and here, and it keeps adding more questions. Like, what the, who the hell is this guy? To be exactly. honest, like, yo, we don't know. Yeah. 
But then after that initial fight, we just see like he first of all one he went up in rankings extremely quickly. Like what was he ranked two seventy something, and then he just shot he up to one hundred three after what two fifty seven. Yeah, after three fights, me right? And friend, me and a friend at work were, were commenting on that and trying to decide how long this series is really going to take place. Cause, all right, and, first of all, what we got to realize is these rankings are just to get into Megalonia. Yeah. Yeah, so I once you got to be in the top. So we have no idea. What, yeah, we don't have no idea what's actually going to happen series wise. This series is going for 50 episodes if we really wanted to. They could really drown out, like, you know, drown out these fights on yeah, some people, he, 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 which I hope they do. But well, I think time, the next person. Well, I think exactly. this, this exact, this, uh, this whole, um, the series, I think it's 14 I think it's 12 episodes. episodes. 12? Yeah, I mean 14, 12, 12, 14, usually around that. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, I see a lot coming, obviously. I see a lot coming with these episodes. But, um, over, overall, like, he's, he's loving, like, I like the, I love the way that, you know, they showed some, like, Junkyard Dog or Gearless Joe, however you want to call him, like, he showed some, he showed some, you know, sort of fear and kind of character development in what was going on. I mean, like, I like the fact that afterwards, and also we showed, they showed a good bonding between the three, you know, at first it was all like scrapping and like, uh, Joe didn't really want to listen. Like Joe listened to Pops to an extent as a trainer, but as a, like a, a friend, he it was just partnership. You know, uh, you know, yeah. I'm, we're we're doing this together just to get paid. But now, you know, they have no choice but we have to be partners. Like we have to work together. And I know that's going to develop in some form of friendship. And then you got the little kid coming along. We're, we're, these three are going to start dominating. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Definitely. And I'm. I want to cut to a point. That, um, the... During the little, during the uh, the little montage of him winning his other two fights, um, you see uh, you see Yukio pop up, um, and she's looking at it and he, he yeah. at the rankings and he spots up. I, what he what he rank at like thirty yeah, something? No, oh, okay, yeah, well, yeah, it popped, I think it was like one seventeen or something like that. It popped up and was like, oh, new new alert. Yeah, yeah. And she's looking at it and she recognized him. She was like, that's the her. motherfucker yeah, from the bridge. The <laughs> she like you know she like and she her hand, hand. Like, yeah I'm like yo she really like does like I don't know what's going on with her but like I feel like maybe Joe not accepting her uh, her charity like really got to her like on some deep shit. I think she's a yeah, control she freak. She's hand. definitely a control freak. She probably yeah she definitely is a control freak. You can see that when it comes to Yuri. But at the same time I don't know. I, I wonder what's going on. Like, there's so many different things I want to know like with these characters. And, she said, like, I'm not and gonna towards the answers. end of the episode, we get introduced to number 17, which Pops thought he was going to fight someone in, like, at rank 30, not a jumping you straight to 17. Exactly, so, because the, I don't the, expect Joe to win this next fight. Well, you don't? Well, let's let's talk about that for a second. Um, 17, obviously, is somebody from Pops' past. He definitely trained Pop. Well, he trained, I mean, Pop, Pop definitely Pop trained, trained him. him. Sorry, yeah, he definitely trained him. You know, um, what was the first thing he said? The first thing he said was, uh, "Coach, ah, God damn, I forgot his name." Long time no see, Coach. coach. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we gonna have a problem with this dude, especially if Pop's trained yeah. him. Yeah, Pop's trained him and, pro- and definitely trained him well for him to be ranked seventeen. Exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. So this is gonna be one of Joe's toughest fights coming out. And like I said, you can see the big difference. I mean, now we're going from 107 to 17. I mean, if he wins this, this automatically should put him in like the top 10 category. Exactly. He still has to win those five fights, though. Yeah, we'll yeah. see what we'll see what happens. I mean, like this 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 series can just go honestly anywhere. Um, now, question is, I want to I want to end this on this. Um, do you think he's going to be continuing continuing fighting as Gearless Joe all the way up to when he fights Yuri? Because that would be some shit. I do not I think now, so. Now I remember what you said, Shay. Remember what you said. Um, the final fight could be between him and Yuri without gear. You know. Yeah, I did. I definitely did say that last episode. Um, we talked about that, but I don't think it's gonna end up being like that. Just because I feel like they're using that as a gimmick right now to right, make people right. want to fight them. To well, make yeah, to that's that's to exactly them. what Pop said. Pop said, well, you know what? Well, that's what Pop says. Yeah, he, he even said that we're going to use this to get everyone interested in fighting you. I feel like once and they get into cause... Megalonia, that's all going to change. Like they're probably going to have sponsor. They're probably going to have backing. They're probably going to be able to get the gear that he need. And no, we already I... we can already tell like he doesn't really need an expensive gear if he can fight already. Exactly. That's just helping exactly. him more. So it is not like you know they really have to do much. 
But I don't, I I don't really think he's gonna go into it. I don't think he's gonna go into it. I mean, because that's honestly, that would be like suicide to be honest. Like, I mean, right exactly. now I feel like that was some. He's on some suicidal. Oh, because he's nonsense. gonna he's gonna go up against I mean, people with get like straight. ridiculous was, gear. Yeah, and exactly. he was willing exactly. to fight. He was and he was willing to fight Yuri on the bridge with no gear, not knowing that Yuri. I don't was. think Yuri had the gear on. No, no, I don't think he definitely had it on. Well, it's not. I, I, don't I, I, I think it's definitely like an integrated thing. I still think he puts it on in order to like fight. Yeah. But then, like I said, like you, like we said in the beginning, um, he was getting his ass whooped at first because his body wasn't used to it yet. But he, you know, he adjusted things like that. But um, we, we'll see. We'll see how this thing goes. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, very good. Ep- the character yeah, development is everything. there. Yeah. I'm really excited to see I, what they're I going to I, go yeah, with this. I can't wait. All right, so that's pretty that's much really it. Like uh, me personally, I, I, I hope oh, that yeah, last good. fight, though, between what, what Yuri happened? and... I, th- I hope that last fight between Yuri and Joe ends up being gearless. Oh, but of like course. a true boxing fight. That would be... That'd be a spectacle. Yeah. You think Yuri would fight him without, without gear as well? I think... Hell yeah! I, I feel uh, that that's going to happen. But, that, uh, yeah. I mean, if that happens, I, I'm, I think, I'm I think with he it. would, especially it depends on how long... Gearless Joe stays Gearless Joe. Nah, it's, but like, yeah, was, like Shay was saying, if he, if he we, we don't think to, it's going to be that he, long. But if he decides to continue to go like that, because as each fight's going, his skills are in, improving. Definitely. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, and as you can see, with, you know, with Little Man and Pops as his trainers, I mean, they basically watched the video of uh, for the third fight. They watched the video just to watch the guy, you know, throw one punch. And... They use that to, yeah, they to use train that him. To, to finish him mm-hmm. exactly. But, but I mean, but let's talk about that punch in that video though, real quick. Because did you see how he punched him once and the dude just did a backflip? I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> it was ridiculous. Yeah, insane. He has power. Like... He's small, but he has power too. It's pretty crazy. So I mean, but based on the way point. that if they if they keep training him this way to be gearless, Joe, I mean, he'll probably get used to it because one, he has a speed advantage. Technically, definitely has footwork. Depending on, and he has a better footwork with it because he'll have less weight on him. So it really depends on who he's going to be fighting. True. All right. So um, I this was a great episode. Um, I can't wait for episode five. We'll see what happens. Seven days. Exactly. But um, please, if you if you're new to listening to us and watching us, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you are not new to listening and watching us, or all three of you guys, now let me stop. <laughs> Just wait for our next episode uh-huh. next week of the of the anime pit, and we're gonna continue on. That's pretty much it, guys. So I'm Mike. All right. Okay. Oh my god. I think I think we should do it by size. Well, well I'm Mike, and then we got Big Black with <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then we and then got Shay. Shay. All right. So that's pretty much it. Well. Uh, until next week, we're gonna talk about um, episode five. All right, guys. Later. Yeah. Later.